We're here with Renee Gracie next to her beautiful supercar here. Now, like a lot of the races here at the Clipsal 500, Renee started out karting with a very successful stint. Can you tell us a little bit about your karting history and how you came to get into the supercar Dunlop series? Yeah, well, I started when I was 13 years old, which is quite old, um, considering a lot of them started when they were about seven years old. So um, I was a bit late into the go-karting scene and did it competitively for about four years. Um, and I only did go-karting and then jumped straight into Porsche Carrera Cup, which I did for two years, and then I was in development series from then on. So, yeah, it was a pretty big step going from 25 horsepower and a little go-kart to, to 450. Yes. <laughs> it's quite, yes. quite a big jump. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, you mentioned the Porsche Carrera Cup. Now, exciting for you, you were the first female to compete in that one. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, first one ever and uh, the only one since, which has been pretty cool. <laughs> That's a pretty good record to hold for yourself. Very exciting. You also competed in the Bathurst 1000 and what was the first female pairing since 19? Can you tell us about that? It was a big weekend and it was successful. Um, I mean, we had one little incident on, on the on the Sunday, um, but it's such a big weekend. I mean, we get there Tuesday and we do so much on-track stuff. It, it really was a good weekend, um, minus the little accident that we had on the Sunday. Um, and a lot of us do go there for the Sunday, but for, for Simona and I, who, who drove the car, it was a much bigger weekend than that. But um, for me, I thought it was a great weekend and I, and I loved it and I would do it every day if I could. And um, yeah, I was lucky enough to go back there last year and do it all over again. And yeah, it's um, been a great opportunity and I thank everyone for involving me and um, yeah, hopefully do it year in year again. Females in motorsport, it is very exciting. Uh, it is quite a male dominated area still and it's great to have some females in there. Like I mentioned before, the female pairing, first one since 1998. How do you feel about being in the Dunlop series now as one of the only female competitors? Yeah, so there's only two of us here this weekend, uh, both Simona and myself, who both race Bathurst, Bathurst together. So um, yeah, it's good, you get used to it. I've always been the only female, so it's something that you do get used to. Um, and you know, I really enjoy it. I love what I do and I love racing cars. And yes, there are lots of guys around and you know, you do get a bit lonely sometimes, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's just part of the job and I love what I do and I put up with it. Do you have any tips for any girls wanting to get into uh, racing of any sort? Um, I get asked this a lot. Probably my biggest tip is if you love it enough, you'll find a way, you'll make it happen. Um, something that I kind of overcame was a lot of controversy and people telling me not to do it and that I couldn't do it um, and I just didn't listen to anybody. So um, definitely if you love what you do and you have a passion for something, don't listen to anybody. Do what you have to do to get there and to achieve your goals and um, if people say you can't do it, that shouldn't really affect if you want it or not. Um, if you want it bad enough, you should do whatever it takes really. Now, speaking of putting up with things, you've got the nickname of Devil Princess. Can you maybe elaborate on how you got that nickname? Yeah, so in go-karting, uh, I had a mechanic who used to look after me and, and he used to call me Devil Princess because I was a devil on the track, but I was a bit of a princess off the track. I always used to do my hair, have my nails done, so he kind of merged them together and called me Devil Princess because, yeah, when I was racing, I was a bit of a devil and when I was off the track, I was a typical girl being a bit, bit of a princess. <laughs> Well, it suits you perfectly. Well, we wish you all the best for the, um, the supercars and the Dunlop series and hopefully a podium finish for you this year. Thank you very much. Thanks.